Okay, so here we are. Uh, here's where we're going to start. I've got a couple pinholes up there in the tow board that I need to deal with. Um, quick welding there. And then this little breakthrough spot weld, I'm going to put a little piece of copper tubing on the back and try to weld the portion up that's on the, the cross member. Uh, and I'll deal with the piece in the sheet metal that's uh, when, when I'm putting in the actual floor pan. And then I'm going to be in position to get this put in place and get tacked in. So hopefully that is where we'll end up by the end of the day. I've only got a couple hours to work today, uh, being Sunday and all. Um, so we'll get as far as we can, and uh, when i got some progress, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back again. Okay, so here we are, ready to tack it in. Uh, I had to do a little bit of manipulation on that corner to make it slope down just a little bit there in the corner, just to do a little hammer dolly work. Same with that corner to make it make the slope there. Um, probably, I'm thinking I need one more clamp in the middle there, uh, just to kind of smooth things out. It all looks really, really good right now. I do a little bit of metal manipulation in here, got that welded up, put a little uh, relief cut there to get the corners to match up a little bit better, and I'll go back and fix that after we've got this tacked in, but I think we're ready to get it put in place. Um, Alright, we will bring you back. Okay guys, so this is where I got kind of... I got the initial tacks in between the, the panel clamps and everything. Um, got one of the plug welds up there, a couple of tacks along this side. Um, everything was, was going along really, really well until I noticed in this corner. Um, so I tacked it there and I had tacked it there, but what I noticed in the middle was the panel was was pretty pretty significantly up from the actual floor pan, uh, so there was no way that we was going to be, uh, you know, able to deal with it because I had tacked it here and tacked it here, and as the metal moved just a little bit, it kind of shrunk up a little bit in that corner, so I was running into an edge there. So here's what I had to do: I had to, I wanted to make sure this is done right, so I went back, I stopped, cut this open, cut these open, and I started banging this back down to get this back level uh, level with the floorboard and then you can see it's kind of popped out there it's not sitting real nice anymore so I'll work my way a little bit this way and then as I get into here I'll have to bang that back over get it lined up um, and sort it out real well hopefully that's that's the way it happens you can see my tacks are okay. The issue I'm having is that the, the this metal, the new metal, is real good. The old metal, um, what I'm noticing is I measured this. This is actually a little bit thicker than that. Uh, they're not the same gauge, so it's slightly thicker. So as I'm going along, you're seeing little little blowouts there. Um, I think I'll be able to fix those. I, I think it should be just fine. But overall, it's going pretty well things are are coming along uh, that's gonna that's gonna be an issue over in that corner that metal is just so dang thin um, something I, I saw on one of somebody's videos is uh, using these but then bending these sideways laying them in there laying them in there and then tacking them with the top of them so I may have to do that over in that corner um, but you can see all the way around, things look pretty good. I've got a couple of them. I kind of just hit them with the, the uh, sanding disc wheel to just run them down a little bit. But come along slowly. Uh, I don't think I'll finish this piece today, but um, we'll do what we can. We'll bring you back. Okay, so here's what we And we're here where we are right now. Um, got 
bunch of tack welds in. Got the uh, uh, plug welds in on the back side as well. I've put that panel clamp back in there, but you can see I still got a pretty big ridge. This is all good now. I may end up having to section, like just run a cutting wheel in there to get this up to all lay out correctly. Because uh, I really don't want to, I don't want, that's, that's just too much for me. See it then, but the rest of it is looking really well. Um, I got this seam all taken care of. Got the plug wells mostly done over there. I've got one last one right there that I'm gonna have to probably drill a hole or something in and suck those two panels together. It's just there's a little bit too much separation there. I can't really tell. Uh, but all these plug wells are done. Started on that seam. See a little bit of a gap there. I'll have to fill that with some welding wire, uh, uh, welding rod, TIG rod, I guess. That's what it's called. Um, working over here. All oh, this looks really good. It's all smoothed out real well. Uh, I'll weld it up real well. It's not smoothed out. And then a bit of a blow, some blowouts here. I'll use some welding rod to, to sort that out. But I'm going really, really slow, so the warpage is really, really minimized. So things are seem to be uh, nice and ma matched up really well right now. Um, so next time, all this is tacked in. I got I got done what I wanted to do. All this tacked in. Those plug welds, are, uh, those uh, um, pinholes were done. Um, so uh, we'll bring you back when when we get some more done. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I didn't get a chance to film before I started this afternoon. Um, uh, essentially, I had most of this floor pan welded in. I just had uh, some seams that I had to finish. So what I did today was I finished off those. Um, you can see it's welded all the way around, except for kind of some a mess up in that corner. Um, it's not not welding very nicely just because the metal that's on that side I don't know if you remember I had to cut this way and and that way a little bit more in order to find some good metal and still uh, as soon as I tried to hit it with uh, hit it with the welder it started blowing out again so I'm still still fighting with that one a little bit but we will get that but other than that things have turned out pretty pretty nicely I've got all this ground down um, for the most part, there's a couple final things that need to be done. But you can see the, the edge. Scoot that out a little bit more. The edge on up there, up there is really fairly nice. I need to kind of tune it just a little bit, and the pump comes down and matches up really well and is ground out. Um, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's showing up very well on my camera. This is just my phone camera. Um, but it's it's welded back all the way over here. What I ended up having to do back here is I had to split it. So I, that's what that long, there's a weld right there. Um, it was not wanting to tuck into that corner. So I got up to about here and it started pulling away as you went up. So I Put a relief cut in there, uh, pounded that down, and, and got this edge all lined up and smoothed out, and then came down here and then re-welded all that the, the relief cut. It seems to have um, been pretty good. Uh, done the job. You know, along the back here, things are pretty good. Um, you can kind of still see the wells, which I'm not happy about, which means they're, they're sunk a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna try and grind them down because I think I'm actually in pretty good shape for pinholes. Um, I don't think there's gonna be that many. I'll check. I'll put a light on the back side and check that. But there's a couple small ones you can see in the relief cut there at the back that I'll probably have to fill. Uh, going around here. Uh, of course, I think there's a couple of small ones there. 
this feature turned out actually really well um, when I, I cut along that side seam uh, and it looks like it has made it up really well and made a kind of, kind of the shape back nice uh, as the weld went through there. And again, we'll finish up there. Um, so that's where we are. I'll bring you back. Thank you.